Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is currently 5.45 at night and I have had my makeup on since about 6.30 this morning. It's not time to shower, it's not time to get ready for bed, but I'm going to be walking you guys through my get unready with me. This is like my go-to routine when I want to wash my face and get my makeup off, but I'm not quite ready to like take a shower and get ready for bed. So this is just going to be how I kind of cleanse my skin from the day and it's like a mini skincare routine to hold me off for probably another four hours or so. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching. Please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload three times a week and that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you wanna see how I just take the day off, keep on watching. So I don't wear contacts for vision. I only wear them for color. So I did have like these purpley ones in today. I did take them out already just because I needed to get them out of my eyes. So my contacts are already out. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some makeup wipes. The ones I've been loving lately are actually Berkley and Jensen, Berkley and Jensen brand. They come from BJ's. This was a recommendation from my better half, Alana. You met her in my New Year's Eve glam tutorial. I'll link that video up here. But the reason why she put me onto these is that of the makeup wipes that either of us have used, these are the ones that are the most saturated with like the makeup remover. So I just like to take this and just give my face a quick wipe. So that is step one in cleansing. Then I'm gonna grab my Pharmacy Green Clean. And this is a makeup melting balm. Balm. And I'm just gonna take this over the rest of the face. What I find this does is by going in with both of these, I am making sure that all of the makeup is melted away. And rather than rinsing, I actually just take the other side of the makeup wipe and just remove this. And you see how much is coming off on this side as well? All right, so makeup is almost removed. Now I'm gonna take my Shiseido Face Cotton, which are these little fluffy pillows of happiness. They are the best face cotton ever. And a little bit of the Lancome Bifacil waterproof eye makeup remover. I did, I can't open this child lock. I am not a child. Um, so this, I did use a waterproof black liner for the waterline. So I'm just gonna take this just to make sure I get any of this residual black off of my eyes. See how much better that looks? Next up, just to kind of tone, I'm gonna take one of my glow peel pads from Sephora collection, and I'm just going to use this to both tone the skin as well as make sure that I've taken off any residual makeup. And that actually looks pretty clean. Like there's a little foundation on there, but not much. Next, I'm gonna take the Murad Intensive C Radiance Peel, and I'm gonna take one big pump of that. And the way that this works is I'm gonna gently massage it over the face. This is a very quick exfoliating mask that I do like to do in the evening time. And the way you apply this is you put a nice hefty layer on the skin, you rub it in for roughly a minute or two, and then we are now gonna wait between five and 10 minutes. Because I'm doing this as a very lightweight exfoliant, I'm not gonna keep it on quite as long, but it does recommend to use for up to 10 minutes just to let it do its magic. All right, we are back. It has been about five minutes. The longer you leave it on, the milkiness kind of does go clear. I do have a washcloth that I've soaked with warm water, and I'm just gonna take that and wipe this off the skin. And at this point, taking a tiny bit more of the Bifacil with, you'll notice a little bit more of that black liner smudging. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit more just to make sure that I've really cleaned the eye area. See how much came off? And we are just about done. I'm gonna take my Sephora Collection Super Glow Serum. Skin's already a little glowy from the exfoliator but I'm gonna take a little bit more of this and just calm the skin 
from all of this exfoliation. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Marc Jacobs Youth Quake Moisturizer. This just launched. I've been using it for about a week. I am liking it. It is like a pineapple infused retexturized gel hydrator. And I'm gonna add a little bit to the face. And lastly, I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Sephora Collection Eye Cream. And I'm just gonna add a little bit to the under eyes. I was wearing waterproof all day. I had contacts in and I had to use the Bifacil to really remove that makeup. So just to make sure that the under eye is not stripped or overly dry, I'm just gonna make sure I add a nice layer of eye cream underneath. And just for good measure, I'm gonna take a touch of the Murad Hydration Prebiotic Multi Mist just to balance the skin. And that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below when you're not quite ready to go through your whole PM skincare routine, but you wanna do something quick just to kinda of like take the day off, what do you guys do? Because this is my like makeup removal step, especially when it's something like I've got an evening ahead of me. So I'm probably gonna film a video later or not. I have to clean, I have three loads of laundry to do. I got quite a bit to get done before I can actually like take a shower and get in bed. But tonight, it's just going to be quickly cleansing my skin with a very lightweight cleanser and then a serum, an eye cream, and a moisturizer. Nice and easy. So thanks again, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.